everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Beauty and the Beard Bedtime Stories. I'm the Beard. I'm the Beauty. You're the Beauty. Um, apologies right off the bat, my voice is kind of going out on me. So, um, hopefully I can get through the book tonight. So, what are you reading, Kate? I want to on Monday. What time is What time is Thursday? What are you going to read, honey? I got to read it, Tracy. I just have a one more. Right, let's go. I have one more. We'll finish it and come on. No, I don't need to. Oh, he's got a trace of letters on your finger. I, Weirdo. I have to finish the B. Oh. All right. Tonight's book is called The Little Pink Rosebud by Sarah Cone Bryant. Rosebud. What's your middle name? Rose. Oh. Can't even do it. All right. Little Pink Rosebud. Here we go. You got a good, <clears throat> good desk. Okay. Good. All right, this is the story of the little pink rosebud. You gotta get my arm ready. Yeah, turn the page. All right, the little pink rosebud lived under the ground in her tiny dark house. All right, there's that. One day, when all was quiet and still, the little pink rosebud heard a tapping at the door. Tap, tap, tap. It carried on. It was quite noisy. All right. Got a tap at the door going on. Who's there? She asked. I like it quiet. It's the rain and I want to come in, said a soft little voice. Well, you can't come in. I won't let you. The little pink rosebud said. So she's at the door being protected. But the rain did not give up. A while later, it started up again. Tap, tap, drip, drip on the window pane. All right, she's trying to keep it out. Doesn't sound like it wants to stay out. Who is there? asked the little pink rosebud. Who is making that racket? The same soft, gloomy voice said, It's the rain and I want to come in. Let me in. No, I still won't let you in, she said. I don't know you and you make too much noise. So she's arguing with the rain pretty much. <laughs> kind of fun. All right. Then it was quiet and still again. The little pink rosebud was snug and silent until there came a rustling and whispering. Rustle, rustle, whisper, whisper, all around the window. All right, getting a little creepy in here, man. I think that's the sun wanted to come in. Sun's wanting to come in? Mm -hmm. Okay. Who is there now, As little pink rosebud. I'm trying to rest. It's the sun, and I want to come in, said a soft, cheery voice. He's so smart. No, she said, you can't come in. And it was all still again. Just talking to the sun through the window. It was not long until the little pink rosebud heard a sweet little rustling at the keyhole. Oh, keyhole, like someone's trying to come in. Who is that? Asked the little pink rosebud. Why do you keep coming to my door? It's the sun, said the cheery little voice, and I want to come in. I want to come in. No, no, I said. You cannot come in here, and I mean it, said the little pink rosebud. Now please go away and take the rain with you. As the little pink rosebud sat there all alone and trying to rest, she heard tap, tap, drip, drip. And she heard rustle, rustle, whisper, whisper. It was all around the window, at the door, and coming through the keyhole. And she's hearing stuff all over the place now. Who's there? asked little rose, pink rosebud. I'm getting quite upset. It's the rain and the sun, said the sun. It's the sun and the rain, said the rain. And we want to come in. We want to come in, we want to come in, said their two little voices. Dear, dear, said the little pink rosebud, I am not going to get any rest. 
the rain and the sun are not going to leave me alone, so I guess I'll have to let them in. So little pink rosebud opened the door and they came in. The sun grabbed her little hand and the rain grabbed her other little hand and they ran and ran and ran with her to the top of the ground. And they said, poke your head through. You don't have to give him an arm, but <laughs> can't turn the page if you hold my arm now. Right. The little pink rosebud poked her head through and saw that she was in the middle of a garden. It was springtime and all the flowers were in bloom. They were beautiful. Alright. I like springtime. How about you? You like springtime? Yeah. The little pink rosebud stood in the garden and she was the happiest little pink rosebud she she had ever been. Wow. She's out there in the middle of the field and there's a rainbow and everything. But where is she? She's in the garden. But where is she now? Right here, see? That's her? That's her. That was the rosebud. She's turned into a flower. Yeah? Yeah. Before a rose becomes a flower, it begins as a tiny seed. That little seed is planted in the ground where it's cool and dark. It needs plenty of rain and lots of sunshine in order to grow. Once it's ready, the seed will sprout and begin to blossom into a beautiful flower we see in the springtime. This amazing process is called germination. And it is just what the little pink rosebud did in this story. Wow, that's cool. All right, that's it all about see the little pink rosebud is just a little little seed and then it turns into a flower because when it needs the light and the sun to, to help it grow into a flower you like that yeah. what I'm thirsty. you're thirsty well how about we reiterate what the book is again this is little pink rosebud by sarah cone bryant very sweet little book and all we gotta do is tell them good night now good night. sit up tell them right Good night. All right. Good night. Thanks for reading with us. We'll see you next time. Good night. I belong. Just the sound of your voice. The light in your eyes. We're so far away from yesterday.